Dame, in the, in the last couple of nights, uh, you know, we've talked about you being an MVP. We've talked about your clutch performances at the end of games. But another thing kind of hanging out there is the notion of you being the greatest blazer of all time. What do you think you need to do to kind of put a bow around that and secure being the greatest blazer of all time? Um, you know, I think as far as um, the pride I take in being uh, a trailblazer, you know, wearing this uniform and, you know, how available that I've been over my nine years as far as just being on the floor, um, you know, not missing in action, um, how consistent I've been and how much, you know, we've won, you know, regardless of us not winning a championship, we've always been working towards that. We've never had a year where we come out and just pack it in or we come out and it's just like, you know, this is a, a terrible year. We, we haven't had that. You know, I've won a lot of games. Um, you know, I've had put my stamp on every season that I've been here. I've continued to improve. I've continued to uh, take, you know, more and more pride in putting this uniform on. And I don't think a, a player before me had the same pride in, in putting his uniform on uh, than I have, you know, guys, uh, that would be in that conversation. I feel like they were here and they had success and they had big moments. You know, uh, Bill Walton won an MVP in the championship. I went to the finals twice. And uh, if it wasn't for Michael Jordan, probably would have done the same and, and had a championship. But I don't think uh, being here uh, meant the same to them. Uh, you know, I think the pride that I have in it and how much I want to bring a championship to this city, um, you know, is is at the top. And for me, I just think I got to uh, continue to improve, continue to uh, win games and eventually win a championship. I think if I win a championship, um, it's a wrap. I think if, if we win a championship, it's a wrap. But um, I don't think that if we don't win it, that I won't be the greatest player of all time. I, I think I will be. And I think I'm, I'm nearing that already. Where does that pride in wearing the jersey come from? Um, I think just the investment for one, you know, I, uh, being drafted by the Trailblazers and um, being such a huge part of uh, the organization for the last nine years. You know, we uh, hadn't got out of the first round for, I don't know what, 20 years it was, you know, since 99 or something like that, 2000 maybe, 14 years at the time. Being a part of that, you know, breakthrough, um, you know, being a part of our, you know, the, the sad, uh, years just losing Brandon Roy, who, you know, probably would have been the greatest blazer of all time or uh, if he never was hurt, just, you know, kind of picking it up from there um, and, and becoming the player that I've become for this organization, you know, and caring about it and uh, being the leader of the team and going through uh, rebuilds and thing like, things like that. The, the culture that we've built, I, I feel like I've just um, been so invested in such a huge part of everything that's happened for the last nine years. Um, that is, you know, it's, it's just like that. You know, that's that's why. Aaron Fetris, the Oregonian. Damien, uh, a lot's been made of the defense, you know, not having a great rating. But you guys late in some of these games, especially lately and during the season, have really cranked up the defensive heat and closed out games like you did tonight. Can you talk a little bit about what you, where you guys go? Because you say you go somewhere mentally when you have to turn on a little time. Does the team go somewhere mentally when it knows it has to get stops late? I think uh, – Numbers aren't everything, you know, we, I think is, is no, we can't argue that we haven't been the greatest defensive team, but um, you know, it, the, the game is faster. The game has, you know, it's all time high in talent. And if you look at our, our rating, what is it? You know, maybe one, one 15, one 14 or something like that. Our defensive rating, we somewhere in there. And then if you go to a top 12, top 10, top 12 team, it might be 110. You know what I'm saying? So the difference of six points, you know, could be the difference in 12 or 14 spots. And, you know, people are so um, blown away by numbers that they never take that into consideration. So um, the numbers don't don't favor us, but we've always had the effort. And I said that early in the season, we just always haven't been on the same page communication wise. We haven't always been on the string and understanding uh, what our jobs are. We haven't adjusted to, you know, we have a good defensive game, and then the next team is a completely different team, completely different personnel, and we don't execute our game plan as well. We've struggled with that consistency in that area. But um, I think lately we are just locked into it. 
you know, we just a lot sharper uh, for longer periods of time. And then, you know, teams go on runs, it happened. And we'll have a lapse here or whatever, like every team does. And, you know, tonight I thought we played really hard and physical and, and smart defensively, and they had 124 points. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I just think our urgency is up. We communicating, we taking the challenge. You know, every guy is coming in and committing to, to playing defense and, and giving that effort. Um, and especially down the stretch. When we get down the stretch, we are – we tighten up, man. You know, I think that's what it comes down to. The good teams that, that win those games that are tight like that, um, they block everything else out and they, they get sharper as the game gets deeper. And I think that's why we've been able to be successful in, in close games lately. Thanks. Orlando Sanchez, KGW TV. Hey, Dame, you guys, you've won a lot of games here. You've played, you've had greater moments than you have tonight. But this streak that you guys are on right now, the way that you guys are playing, how unique and special has this one been? just in terms of all of the adversity that you guys have gone through and to see the way you guys have all come together. And it just feels like watching you in these moments, it, you have no choice but to think you guys are going to win these games when it's coming down to the wire over and over again. Yeah. Um, well, I think <clears throat> the fact that we up against it, um, you know, CJ is out. That's a big blow. Nurk is out. That's a big blow. You know, Zach has been our starting four. And, um, you know, it's a – it's a tough situation, but I think um, the fact that it's been collective, you know, I think that's what's made it special. It, you know, I think everybody's going to talk about how, how well I've played and what I've done, um, because that's just the way it goes. When we have success, people are going to look at what I do. And when we don't have success, they're going to say, you know, Dame or Terry or CJ or whatever. Um, but I, I think the beauty in, in what we're doing right now and why it's been so fun and so special is because, you know, I'm, I'm not going out like last season. I had a run where, you know, over 10 games, I was scoring like 48 a game. And then in the bubble, I was scoring, you know, 48, 50, 60, and just having like big performances. But we weren't playing that great. You know, we weren't getting stops. We weren't, you know, moving the ball. It wasn't as collective as, as it is right now. Right now, you got Ant playing well. You got GT playing well. Nas playing well. Ennis playing well. Mellow, Hoodie. Um, DJ, Rocco, like everybody is is coming in and doing a job, you know, and I'm not just saying that like to give people credit. I think the way it looks the way it does because everybody is coming in and doing their job and um, without CJ and Nurk and Zach, we don't win these games if it's not collective the way that it's been. And, um, you know, I think that's what makes makes it so fun and so special because, you know, we say the next man up and everybody is stepping up and and coming in and doing their jobs consistently. And, you know, you look forward to when Nurk and CJ and those guys and Zach comes back and you like, you're looking at it like we're going to be a much more, a much deeper and, you know, stronger and confident team and a much more complete, you know, feel to our team because of the way that we've done this. You know, I haven't just gone out there and tried to do it all, you know, and get a big basket, GT hit a big basket. Rocco get a big block, Ennis get a big rebound, Melo hit a big shot. You know, it's just like we are, we making this happen together. Um, and I think that's what's, that's what's special about the run that we're on right now. Okay, we got time for a couple more. The team's getting ready to slip. Casey Holdall, trailblazers.com. Damien, the last two offensive possessions for you guys, uh, they double and triple team you, you get Derek wide open under the basket, then they don't send it next time you get to the rim. Uh, it seems like those are kind of related, like they've, that, that ability to exploit those things seems like something that, that allowed you to get that easy bucket for Yeah, um, you know, like later in the game, I was having a ball on the side sometimes and my man was just getting on my side and the big was coming up and they were just trying to corral me and not let me um, get to the middle or let me, you know, attack. Uh, so those last three possessions, one time I just had it in the middle and in the timeout, I told DJ, I'm going, I'm going to turn the corner on Hernan Gomez. Like, I don't know. I'm going to be able to score or what, but I'm going to be able to turn the corner and, you know, make the defense react. So you be on the opposite side and when the help come, just cut behind them. Um, and I, I think the first time we was down three, I came off, I turned the corner on them. Zion stepped up and I kind of sidestepped, Euro stepped around him and I laid it in. And um, the next time, you know, I think they came down, they, they didn't score or maybe, yeah, they didn't score, was down one. And then the next one, I came down and I went around him and he stepped up and then I hit DJ on that one. And um, he just cut out, he kept cutting out the corner like I, we talked about in the timeout. So the next one I knew I was gonna be able to turn the corner from the middle of the floor 
Zion stepped up. I looked at the basket like I was going to shoot it. He came up and I just, you know, I knew DJ was right there. And then Zion went to the free throw line and we was down one again. So um, I knew that they was going to try to change their coverages and be up a little higher. Um, so I was telling him, you know, come set it up on this side because we had a single side over on my left. And I was just going to uh, counter the screen and go away from the crowd. And, you know, because of that, the help didn't come over. And it was me and me and Zoe one on one. I took the contact and you know, it was a, just a finish, and that was that. We had to get a stop, and that last possession was guys flying around. We needed a stop, and, you know, we did what we had to do to get that stop. All right, one last question. Dwight James, NBC Sports Northwest. Uh, Dame, the TV camera caught you after the game uh, with your arms around Covington and Jones and talking to those guys. Can you share a little bit about what that was? I just told them to keep taking the challenge. You know, I think when we brought those guys in, we we were saying, you know, we got two long athletic wing defenders that can really, you know, help us. And in the last, you know, couple of weeks, they've just been taking the challenge. You know, it's not always perfect on none of our part, but they're so active, you know, contesting shots, uh, disrupting guys, getting deflections, blocking. Rocco's been at the rim blocking shots like a, like a five man. DJ's getting deflections and rebounding the ball. Um, and they, they've just been disruptive. You know, they've allowed our defense to uh, do things that, you know, we was able to do with like Chief and Mo, where we switch in and, and kind of giving them different looks that's, you know, hard to, to play against, you know, trapping and double teaming and cross matching and things like that. So um, I just acknowledge, you know, the effort that, that they've been giving us that, you know, may not always show up on the stat sheet and letting them know that, you know, this is not a, you know, we we need you guys to do what you're doing, and what you're doing is is putting us in position to you know to win these games.